always good. Breathe, I got you. Exhale. All good. The first handful of visits are really a getting to know you, you know, getting to understand where you know, those limits are. I, I joke, I'm a velociraptor in a cage okay. finding the fence. You know, I'm trying, trying to know where the limits are. So ever since pregnancy, I get, like, my leg kind of feels like it goes numb, my left leg mostly. Sometimes I get it in my right, okay. but um, I get pretty bad sciatica pain. How often is it numb? Is it numb now? It's not numb right now. I do feel, like, pressure, I guess, in my hip. Okay. Um... It's not numb, but I do get, like, if I step wrong, sometimes I get, like, a jolt of tingle. How many years ago, I guess, is it three years ago, so since pregnancy, that started yes. after the birth? I, I got sciatica pain a pregnant. lot while I was pregnant, okay. and it never quite went away. Okay. So while, we're, while you're pregnant, all the progesterone in your body loosens up all the ligaments, and the um, basically the stability of your spine goes down. And do they, do they explain to you what's causing the numbness, I guess? Do they, do anybody go over what... Not really too much. Okay. So well, I'm just trying to see how much of a foundation we got to build off of. And, oh, yeah, and I'm fully educated about discs. So x-ray is unfortunate because we can't really see the, the disc on the x-ray. We can see the space, but you're 33 years old, so it's not, you know, you can't see the disc height loss that would be in somebody, say, 55 plus. So you actually can have a, a disc that's bulging out, and the disc actually look good on x-ray in terms of the space. And so mm -hmm. we miss a lot with x-ray. MRI magnetic resonance imaging is the only really way to evaluate but the symptom of numbness down the leg or even sciatica down the leg or hip pain is coming from pressure on these nerves in your lower back and a couple things happen to allow that to ha to to exist one there's supposed to be a curve in your back and when we sit and bend forward and lose that curve all the weight like a ladder gets transitioned down to the bottom the middle back gets tight being pregnant having a child the, the rib cage in general stiffens this area so the lower back's left doing all the mechanical load and then stress on the joints and discs in the lower back hit the nerves okay so the focus of our care is a couple fold one move the stress off the lower back so i'm going to beat up and <laughs> loosen okay. up the areas that are stiff up here that aren't going to exactly like being loosened and then we're going to try to take the stress off the lower back and then at the end of the visit i want to try to see how you know difficult or how well we can try to bring your body back to some level of curve uh, that curve takes the weight off the disc and can stop it from aging at a faster rate. Again, that's what the MRI would, you know, be used to show that we have disc injury, but that's the cause of your symptom. Uh, I also took a pretty good fall last summer. Okay. Um, I was in Miami and I fell in the lobby of a hotel and I fell like at a 90 degree angle, like my tailbone hit the floor. That was, so this is a year ago? This was about like last summer, yes. Last summer. And then how did that change what you already get, were dealing with? It just made it worse. It okay. just the sciatica became a lot worse. Like I would get flare-ups a lot more often. Okay. Um, and, All right. Yeah. All right. Well, so we. Ouch. Yeah. <laughs> the, the the nerve is sandwiched in between the disc and the joint, and when you fall on your bottom, the first thing that's mainly going to get injured is the knuckle. It's like it's like spraining an ankle. Mm -hmm. So you sprain the joints, and then the joints now swell up, and then that's hitting the nerve from the back. The disc's already there hitting the nerve from the front, so now you get more and more pressure on that nerve. So when you say, for instance, you turn your head left, does it hurt where? Is it? I can feel it, I guess, like here. At the top, okay, upper neck. And I feel a little bit in here. Pulling in the shoulder, okay. Yeah. Both ways, when you turn both ways on the left or on the right also? Less turning this way, more turning this way. So you turn to the right, you feel pain on the left. How about when you say, just like, say, turn your chest to the left or turn your chest to the right, is there pain when you, in your lower back? Does anything make it worse? Um... Not quite. More like a, I guess, bending. Okay. I feel it in like my lower back, and it's it's right here. I can almost pinpoint where it feels. Okay. Sit up. All the air out for me. Okay, I got the end. I got you. Let it go. Exhale. Beautiful. Deep breath in. One more. Exhale. Beautiful. Stay right there. The good news that an image. What I use imaging to show is that most of your spine is not injured. Well, Ed, I feel like I'm hurting everywhere. <laughs> well, the good news is that you don't, we don't feel the parts that are frozen. You're only feeling the parts that are working. And so what I hope to do today is if we can wake up the parts that are not injured but that are not moving, that has some potential to take stress off the areas that are injured and give you some relief. That would be nice. All right. All right. Easy, easy. Just this top guy. Beautiful, I got you. Oh my god. You 
right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Got your head, I got you. Come this way a little bit more. There you go. Relax this side right there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Well, if, how about this? If during any care you ever have, any pain that you had before you sought that treatment, if there, any of those pains get worse, you need to let the person know, mm -hmm. okay? And even with sometimes good treatment, if I push on some stiff areas, the loose areas might move. And so it might not be so much the fault of the practitioner, it's just simply we have to slow down a little bit. We mm -hmm. can't go so deep because the areas that are loose are so loose that I can't move the stiff areas without moving loose areas even just slightly, which then aggravates them and then makes you get, you know, in pain. And so you have to just, the first handful of visits are really a getting to know you, you know, getting to understand where, you know, those limits are. I, I joke, I'm a velociraptor in a cage finding the fence, you know, I'm trying to, trying to know where the limits are. And we don't really, you can't, you have to, you don't know where the limits are until you test for them, until yeah. you kind of walk around and test where the edges are and the barriers are. Like I feel that from the middle of my head to like my shoulder. Yeah, yeah, he can't have any soreness up here. Can't it be any. There you go. The adjustment just accomplishes the restoration and the mobility a lot faster than if I just massaged it. So, you know, we're gonna have results for you know, a lot faster than just like can you massage a nail into a piece of wood, <laughs> you know. This side is much looser. That's why you're hurting the side. Do you feel the difference? Yes. You feel this is not, there's not many, much lumps on the side. This is your abuse side. That's why when you turn your head to the right, you're actually hypermobile on your left lower. That's why it hurts on the left when you were turning your neck earlier. You're going to see me work on this side a lot less in terms of time. Ed, I feel like you rubbed the right side of my neck a lot longer than the left side. And the answer is correct because the side's already moving. I think so, the right side is where I carry my daughter most of the time. Yeah, it's all jammed up on the right. We gotta, I'm gonna try to push this rib down a little bit, but there definitely is a lot more suppleness over here. The goal would bring, be to bring the right side into balance with the left and then we loosen both up together. But right now the, the right is so tight relatively that I'm not gonna spend so much time over here. A little bit right there. fixes cars for a living, so he'll oh, do anything okay. driving car related. Oh my, okay. Well, he fixes cars, I fix bodies. <laughs> uh, I always joke, it's Dr. Ed's body shop. <laughs> mm -hmm, just a different type of body shop. Mm -hmm. I feel tingling in my hand. Yeah, it's the nerves that pass through here. It's all jammed up and I'm just moving. I'm pushing on the tissue that the nerves are sitting around so the nerves are going, hey, what's going on? Somebody's vacuuming. My pinky wants to twitch. Uh-huh. Yeah, right there, it's already coming out, right? This is the gua sha, so wherever there's uh, lactic acid inside, it'll come out as like a mark. It's similar to cupping or uh -huh. it's an extraction technique to get the lactic acid, the inflammation out of the body to improve circulation where these areas are tight they kind of choke themselves and block off their own you know blood supply and so you gotta sort of unlock them restore some circulation some perfusion back in these areas I used to do a lot of that back in New York but I've, okay. I've never really done that here yeah gotcha, right there is a your husband will see oh well, I see you at the mark of Ed <laughs> Ed marked you up Give me your idea of what your day looks like in terms of p posture. A toddler. <laughs> just taking care of the kids, okay. Yeah, I'm just with her all day. Okay. So, literally, any position, on the floor, climbing over stuff, jungle gyms, anything. Oh, <laughs> That's what my day looks like. Lots of looking down. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
prior to her though, I was I was an accounting person and I did um, accounting for Sunset Auto Group, so mm-hmm. mostly a, desk. A desk work, okay. All right. Twenty six is when our spine fully reaches full maturity. So whatever posture we're in at that age is kind of where your body wants to be, for better or for worse. And so it, it's like the cement has hardened and now we have to re-soften you in order to reshape it. So the first phase of care is what I call the softening or demolition phase. We have to make your spine limber to change your posture. The alignment of our spine determines the stresses on the spine, like the tires in your car mm-hmm. that your husband will tell me about. You know, the, the alignment of your frame and your tires determines the stress on the wheels and the alignment of our spine determines where which discs are stressed out, which joints are stressed out. These are the roots of your neck here. These are like, they're like a, think of the neck like a trunk of a tree and these are the roots. And as the head goes forward, the more this pulls on this. So we want to ultimately get the ear back over the shoulder, get the head over the chest better. That reduces the stress, the torque on this area. Again, same thing. If I'm going too easy or too hard, let me know. I'm going to keep going deeper. Here we go. I don't, I don't like any of the tightness and little knots in here. I agree, I don't either. <laughs> okay, all right, we're on the same team, okay. But yeah, your lower back is off limits. Nobody <laughs> should be massaging your lower back or your lower neck. It's it's not beneficial to you know push on the injured areas and expect them to feel better. It's like you're just further loosening them, further injuring them. I feel like at this point, the only source of relief I've really had is um, uh-huh. sitting in our hot tub and like having the sure. kind of just yeah soften everything up. I guess. Heat, heat somehow jumps the line. It, 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 um, your body fears fire the more than anything, and so when you put heat on something, it blocks the other nerve sensation. So, you know, it's there's a physiological benefit you can achieve with heat if you you know dilate and then put ice and constrict, and you can increase circulation through like a pumping effect. But um, heat mainly works by covering up pain. It's a you know you can you I use it mainly on the areas that are tight to loosen them, but we want to try to not use heat on the areas that are injured, especially if it's an acute injury, you want to avoid heat on it because the swelling will further swell the area that's injured and add to the injury. So that's why baseball players, football players get ice mm-hmm. <laughs> on acute injuries as soon as possible. We want to limit the extent of the injury. And the idea is at the end of the day we can, you know, in the few moments of peace that you have after your daughter goes, is it daughter? Yes. After your daughter goes to bed, you can try to lay down and we're gonna, there's a device that emulates my elbow or even a roller, you can lay on your back and we try to use it on the chest, specifically right here, to transfer the stress and, and, and restore some of that curve back to your lumbar. Like I said, if anything in the lower back or leg gets worse while I'm doing this, please let me know, okay? If it just hurts where I'm pressing, hang in there, okay? Okay, well, I'm good. All right, okay. I don't want to make those areas that are mad already matter. <laughs> Let's Three swipes. <laughs> how quickly the mark comes out does tell me how much is in there. You know, if it has to take a lot of swiping to get the lactic acid out, then it's probably pretty deep or not that much. But when it comes out real quick, it, it's kind of pouring out of here. Right. The other analogy your husband will like is like an idle engine screw. You mm-hmm. know, the engine's supposed to idle at a certain RPM, and because of our posture, because of your posture not being centered, these muscles are working harder than they're supposed to be. So it's like an engine idle screw's been turned up. <laughs> And the engine's idling at 3,000 RPMs, not 600 RPMs. Does that make sense? Yes, So absolutely. now the, now you have a lot more tension just constantly building up because the alignment's not right. Like if I have my arms outstretched and I'm holding a heavy object, my muscles work harder than if it's closer to my body. So in the same way, your alignment of your back, you know, everybody will say, well, I have so much tension in my back. That's because of your posture. 
Well, without knowing a whole lot about this, like I, I have said to my husband for a long time, I just feel like my whole body's out of whack. Right. Oh my god, I feel it all the way in my fingertips. Hmm. Sometimes people can be more comfortable putting their hands underneath their thighs. If that, if your hands start going numb, you put them. You can put them underneath. Um, sorry. If it help you know, under here, it's up to you. I'm just saying if you. It's not about it's, okay, that's your options. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll just. Better, it's super tender. Mm. Oh, clear it up. Look at that. It's like blue skies now. Right? That was crazy. Yeah. Thought it was going to be cloudy all day. Hurts, but it's a good hurt. Yeah, I know. I can't have any, any soreness in here. The nerves have to travel through this area, and so if these muscles are tight. Again, posture, falling on your butt, <laughs> guarding. The nerves get aggravated just by being in close proximity to these the inflammation that builds up in here. The goal is to not. Does that make sense? Move these joints, but we want to move the joint below the lower back as much as possible this area needs to be working. Oh my god, I feel that on my knee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the idea is a back brace, you know, like little, you know, something you put over your lower back, you know, when you have to uh -huh. pick up your daughter a lot or when you have to do things like lifting her or cleaning or whatever, you know, you might want to put some support. Does that make sense to limit the mobility here? Obviously, the work needs to be done to loosen your middle back, but in the short term, just to get some relief, does that make sense from the constant ache that's going on in the lower back? We can bind it up a little bit. I'll do anything to feel better at this point. Yeah, just well, like I said, I'll show you some stuff, but you'll just bind it up, and that'll. Hey, it's feeling a lot better, right? But we didn't we didn't deal with this problem. We just it's like an ankle tape, you know. Yeah. You can tape it up to limit and to support it more externally. It's not a long term fix. The long term fix is get the curve back in your back and and make the middle back work harder and be a part of the team.
Try to exhale and twist. There you go. Breathe, I got you. Exhale. Oh, good. Uh, uh, breathe. Good, other side for me, other side. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. There we go, exhale. There we go, exhale. Oh, boy. All right. Toes are all jammed. Oh, my. Okay, one. <laughs> Come on. I actually had a big foot surgery on that foot. Is that it? Okay. I tripped over my husband's shoe, and I broke a bone that all of your toes connect into. Oh, no. And I ended up with a pin and everything. All right. Go easy here. I got you. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. The goal is to keep the weight back on. Like they're all moving over here. That you know. But the you know going to keep the weight back on your heel. The more the weight goes under your toes, the more it jams those joints along with you know whatever they did. Yeah. How long ago was that surgery? Um. Gotta be twelve years now. Gotcha. All right. Gotcha. Uh, okay. All right. Okie dokie. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> so, a lot of blockages that are in here, and that's contributing a large amount to what you're feeling. Now, again, this is the overstressed area. That's where we're gonna put a back brace on that lower back, and we have to start loosening daily. You know, like kind of brushing your teeth and keeping this area loose. But this. This area being rigid is what's overstressing your lower back. So we'll show you some stretching in a second. Let me check your ears. Is that okay? Have you seen my ear adjustments? Have you ever seen me do ear? No, but I'm no? in. Okay. Do no. you need me to take my earring out? You're fine. I think, well, I think we're okay. I, think I'm okay. <laughs> I have lots. <laughs> They're pretty. Do you let them know if you, really. you feel them grabbing on? I think I'm okay. Go ahead and tilt your head to the right for me. Uh-huh. Okay, good. Yeah. There's a little room up here. <laughs> Tilt your head to the right for me. Tilt right, tilt right. Okay, it's okay. There we go. You missed a spot. It's <laughs> like the most I've ever seen. All right, keep your head straight for a second. One second. Okay. Okay, go ahead and tilt your head left. Uh -huh. Oh my god. Here. Go ahead and tilt your head to the left for me. Left. There you go. Yeah. Wow. Wow. All right. <laughs> Go ahead and press back with your elbow into my elbow. Here you go, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Same thing, hold your hip tight for me. And then press back with your elbow into mine. Here you go, yep. Yeah. Good job. All right. <laughs> the idea is to do this at the end of the day. Now, because that knot was bigger on the right side, you actually could lay with the TV to your right, and you would actually have your head just even, see how you, like your default right now is to have your head 10 and the left. Yes. So you want to actually work that right side as uncomfortable as it is. So we get just a little bit, perfect like there. This one, your hands are up uh, here if you can. Get the idea, I know. I have some books behind your head because I don't want you getting mad at me. Okay. <laughs> but we want to, eventually these are gone. The idea is to get as much time as we can and then we work on the depth of the stretch. So we first start off, you know, with some support behind your head. If it's too easy, we can start taking some books out. But the idea is you start here about every minute and you move down every minute one inch. Okay. So you push with your feet and you roll upwards towards me one in one inch, and then you stay there for a little bit. You okay? Mm -hmm. Again, if anything hurts, if it hurts where it's pressing in, hang in there. If it starts hurting in your lower back or down the leg while you're doing it, stop. Talk to me. Uh, but it will start increasing some some, some symptoms of discomfort in your middle back. Hang in there. All right. Good job. Wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, like great. Said, do the salt bath. A lot of water. We'll know tomorrow morning. The yeah. idea is it's it's like going to the gym and you know, hopefully on Friday. And I couldn't move. <laughs> all right, well. Okay, all right, okay. pleasure. Very good. Thank, Thank you so much. I appreciate it.